Hey, what's up? It's payday. Wednesday, October 30th. I just got my Spark and GoPuff. So GoPuff did not steal my money after deactivating, terminating me. That's what they called it in their email. They terminated, permanently terminated me. So they they gave me my whole amount, which is what I, I previously said I thought it was. So... They're, so far, DoorDash is the only company still that I know of that'll, that'll try to steal your money when they fire you. Out of all the gig apps that I've worked on, Lyft and Uber and everything else, DoorDash is the only one that are actual criminals. But I got my all of my payments in there now, and I finally got my... My tax guy finally did my taxes yesterday. Uh, finished them yesterday. After eight months after I gave him all my paperwork, gave him all my 1099s. So I don't like doing them past the April 15th. So if anybody local has a recommendation for a tax preparer that knows how to do gig taxes, let me know because he's never done them before the deadline. I've, I've switched to this guy like three years ago because... My previous guy retired, so, but I paid, they, my tax payments came through. I did it at 9 a.m., and it's 2.20 a.m. right now, so less than a day, and they've already, state and federal, have already taken them out of my account, and it's, it's the highest I've ever paid, because my dollar a mile is way better doing Spark and just declining shitty orders and Plus my YouTube, I don't I don't deduct anything from my YouTube. I don't say that I I need cameras or you know you can't deduct miles. So my my YouTube is is fully taxed with no no deductions. So anyway, I'll show you all those payments and the, the money I made. So those there's the federal what I paid to federal right above the the spark. Did 179.08. So my spark's going to go up now that I'm not on GoPuff. This is the first time that I've owed state anything. There's my GoPuff. 292.42. Exactly what I said. I said that I thought it was 292, so that is what it was. I said that in the video that I did about being fired. And there's the DoorDash. DoorDash is probably going to be the highest for a while now. If I can can stay on DoorDash. I, I had one the other day that it was a gated community and a code to get in the building and they didn't give me that information and they didn't give me the, even give me a unit number. So I I clicked on the support and the automated support said to just leave it somewhere. So that's what I did. I called and left him a voicemail. And tried texting him. and That's my son's paycheck. I don't have a W-2. There's the previous week's roadie. So DoorDash, GoPuff, Spark, and this week's roadie. Only twenty two eighty six totals fourteen hundred and forty one dollars and eighty two cents for the week. Fourteen forty one eighty two. So I'm doing less roadie because I've been stopping at like nine a.m. now, starting at seven p.m. and and those prescription deliveries don't start till nine. So these ones are. I did it, went a little over, did them right at 9, and then called it a day. So I did three CVS. So I'm pretty much only doing the CVS by my house. Let's look at the Spark. Let's check this because it's I'm still online. Nothing coming in. Can't extend. I'm on until 4 a.m.
So there's my this week. Nine forty seven forty six. Only one half pay. I don't remember what that was, how I got that, but it wasn't a closed restaurant. I'm going to unassign any closed restaurants from now on so I don't get deactivated for that. They've already warned me for for properly doing that, for, for actually <laughs> reporting a restaurant closed that was closed. They warned me for that, so they, they do not want to here that restaurants are closed. So 947.46. So it should be over a thousand this week because I lost the GoPuff on Thursday morning, I think. So the whole weekend without GoPuff. Well, let's look at the stats. So my completion rate's a hundred percent. The rating's going up. I still have two one stars on there. I don't know what the hell. I've never deserved a one one star on any app. It might be because I do it at night. And people that are drunk and high are, are irrational. Let's see if I have any comments. Nope. And then... What else? I've done 673 in the last 30 days. 9,262. I've been doing a lot of shops in the Walgreens and the CVS. So I was clicking on these stats and they're, they're saying that I'm the greatest. Like, I'm one of the best shoppers in my area. I found 82 out of 82 items. And then this one at 96 also says that I'm the greatest. One of the best. I just did a beer three tall boy beers right at like 151 a.m. is when I when I checked out at the Walgreens so I got one under the wire and alcohol here's a Taco Bell for 850 it's the only Taco Bell open in the area it's to a house uh, it's not very super good but I'm gonna do it because it's a house I'm gonna do it So there's the spark, 179.08, and I've got some on this week because I'm I'm doing spark instead of go puff pretty much. So see, I lost go puff on Thursday, so wasn't doing any spark until I lost the go puff. So. I start out with spark every every evening at seven seven p.m. And it dies. And it, it, it says you can be logged on till eleven, but from nine eleven there's I think they turn it off and there's no orders. And they just leave it on in case there's crappy ones bouncing around still. So here's the metrics. Terrible acceptance rate because of all the other stores they show me, all the stores in different cities and twenty mile away stores. And just all the crappy orders. I can't show you the GoPuff app. It locks me out. I think that's stupid that they do that. They should just let you be able to access it without logging on. I'm going to go do this Taco Bell for 8.50. So I'll upload this while I'm doing that and then should be ready to for you guys to watch. You late nighters can watch it right away. So cool, 1441, 82. 
Still just fine. Everything's cool. I think it's going to be okay without the GoPuff. The GoPuff was terrible dollar a mile anyway, so if I lose Spark or DoorDash, then I'm, then I'm, you know, I don't know what I would do. I might, might have to get a job because Spark's still the, the scammer's favorite app and it's hard to get a good order and I wouldn't want to try and do that the full day, you know, as my major. So, all right. That's it for now. I'll do a Halloween ride along tomorrow night. I'll do a, a ride along for Halloween night. Show you how busy Halloween night is on DoorDash and probably some spark too. All right. That's it for now. Later.